Hi guys, welcome to another video lesson from Capoeira Free and Online. Brought to you by Tucumã Brasil. My name is Maki Iver Beckman and today we are going to talk a little bit about the history of Mestre Bimba. Manuel Duches Machado, also known as Master Bimba, was the son of Luis Cândido Machado and Maria Martinha do Bonfim. He was born in the periphery of the district of Brotas on the 23rd of November 1900. He was given the nickname Bimba as a result of a bet made between his mommy and the midwife who said he would be a boy. Hence the name Bimba. Master Bimba began capoeira at 12 years old and he first trained in a place known as Cowboy Street in the Liberdade neighborhoods. His first master was the African Nozinho Bento or Ventinho. Captain of the Bahia Steam Navigation Company. He studied an old style of capoeira, and the course lasted for four years. Master Bimba taught the same style for the next ten years. The place where he studied was known as the Union in Trouble Club in the Liberdade neighborhoods. In 1928, Manuel Duches Machado decided to develop a different style of capoeira bringing together batuque, samba luta with the old style of capoeira that he himself had studied. As capoeira was not well viewed in the eyes of society and was prohibited in Brazilian law, Master Bimba decides to register this new style as a Bahian regional martial arts. In 1932, he founded his first gym in the Ingenio Velho neighborhood in Brotas. On the 23rd of June 1932, it became the first Capoeira Academy officially to receive its operational license. The moves introduced by Master Bimba facilitate personal defense when confronted with people trained in other martial arts that were very popular in Brazil in the 30s and the 40s. At the time, there was the Mixed Martial Arts competition, where he competed against contestants from all the different martial arts, and was crowned the first capoeirista to win a competition in the ring. With the public chanting, Bimba his Bamba, in 1973, for financial reasons, Master Bimba left Bahia, accusing the government of not him adequate financial support. On the 5th of February 1974, less than a year after arriving in Goiânia, aged 73, Master Bimba died from a stroke. It said he died of bones sadness, as the style of capoeira that he helped create wasn't recognized as a profession during his lifetime. Master 
Master Bimba leaves a gigantic legacy to all of us capoeiras. We benefit from its accomplishment, and it serves as inspiration, even without knowing it. It was due to none other than President Getúlio Vargas. In 1953, capoeira became recognized as a national sport. It's worth mentioning that this date marks the introduction of capoeira in Brazilian society, and the National Sport Council issued Resolution 71, establishing criteria for the practice of these arts. Manuel dos Reis Machado, with his creative, developed a teaching methodology, organized classes, specialized courses, lessons, named different moves, categorized the movements, style of training, things that did not exist at the time. Since Capoeira was learned simply, simply by watching others. He established the charanga or orchestra and the specific songbook of quadras and corridos, developed and preserved traditions, created and formalized rituals, war names and nicknames, greetings, graduations and graduation ceremonies, amongst many other things. Unfortunately, this is only a summary of the biography of Master Bimba, but I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave suggestions for the topic of our next videos. Big hug to you all!